Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Webflow with Stripe. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at webflow.com or log in to our existing account. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make this integration work by using third-party app as a solution. So, we are going to use automate.io I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we've done that, let's go to the top of our screen to integrations. Once we click or once we hover over integrations button, this pop-up window will show up and we just slide down to the bottom left part at see all categories. After we click there, we are greeted with app integrations and it's time for us to pick the integration the first integration that we want to use. At our case, it's Webflow. Once we do that, once we pick the Webflow, now it's time for us to pick the counterpart, which will be Stripe, like this. Straight away, we have some popular integration given for us. Well, at least one between, uh, between Webflow and Stripe, which is update subscription in Stripe on a new order in Webflow. That's already pre-made it for us by automate.io. If you want to do and make your own integration, scroll down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with Webflow. There's only one option, so it's pretty obvious which one you are going to pick. Don't go with, don't go with Stripe. On the right side, underneath the actions, there's a couple of options for Stripe, so you pick the one that you fit uh, the most, but I'm going with the first one just to show you how it works. The last thing we should uh, click on is try it now button. We get redirected to sign up page where you basically fill out your form for login or register, register your account at automate.io. And you are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use appear.com, which is very similar app to automate.io. Uh, so let's create an account here and go to the top left corner and create a Zap. Once we're in here, same as at automate.io, we want to start with the trigger app, which will be obviously Webflow. Trigger event. Now we can pick from three options. But let's stick with the first one, continue. And now uh, we can choose an account. So I'm going with the one that we created for this reason. We hit continue. And now it's time for us to set up a trigger. Site name is the name of my project that I created at Webflow. And I don't have no form names. So once you finish your website, there will be options for you to do that. After that, you just click continue, you test your trigger, and you are ready to set up the second action. Second action is actually Stripe. Now we should choose an event. So let's go with the first one, hit continue. And the last thing is we have to sign to Stripe and that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.